And we are back, faders, and we got the news, man. So, uh, yeah, Jeremy, uh, I haven't done the news with you in a while, so would you like to go first? Sure, I'll go first. Um, yeah, this is a, a kind of an old chestnut. We've heard this kind of thing over and over again. All right. Mm. Headline goes, man arrested for allegedly sexually molesting a woman on a bus? Probably in a bus, not Ooh. on a bus. Right. Wouldn't it be funny if it was on top of a bus? He's like on the bus, kind of like uh, that that movie Michael J. Fox, where he turns into a werewolf. Was that oh, Teen yeah. Wolf? Teen Wolf, yeah. Don't dude, do that. That's dangerous. No. <laughs> and also, sexual <laughs> sexual molesting is never funny. But dude, on the bus, it'd be a, it'd be a little bit more difficult. All right, police in Hikashi Matsuyama, uh, Saitama Prefecture, have arrested a 62-year-old man, Jesus, on suspicion of indecent behavior after he allegedly groped a woman sitting next to him on the bus. According to the police, the incident occurred around 4.35 a.m. Wow. Was is at 4.35 a.m.? I was just thinking that. I mean, who takes a bus that early? Literally, I was like, what if it was real, literally on the bus? We were making a joke, but it was literally on the bus. It might be. Read on. Read on. Okay. Uh, 4.35 a.m. Saturday on a bus traveling from Nagano City to Higashi Mutsuyama City. Kyoto News reported. Oh, I get it. This is one of those overnight buses, right? Not like, Night bus. yeah. not like a city transfer, like a uh, transportation bus. Okay. We're on a freaking prison bus. Okay. Mm-hmm. Police said Hikaru Nakatani who works for the Ishikawa Prefectural Government, oh, shit, you should say used to work for them, is accused of groping a woman who was in her 20s as she slept. Don't touch me. Nobody touches me. The woman woke up and complained to the driver who called 110 or 911. Call 911! Well, never sleep on a bus or a train, man. That is yeah. like some dangerous shit right there. I mean, Japan is definitely safer than any other country. But uh, mm. if you're a young lady, you got to keep your head on a swivel. Guard them titties. Uh, someone's going to try to do something to you, man. Especially these 60-year-olds, man. They think they can get away with murder. Nakatani was arrested and when he arrived in Higashi Mutsuyama. It doesn't say whether he uh, um, admitted to the charges or not, but buses have cameras. Everywhere in Japan has cameras. We say it all the time. So he's fucked. That guy is yeah. fucked. Yeah, dude. Oh, man. 62. So getting pension and retirement now is 64. Dude, could you imagine working in a job your whole life and then at 62, two years right before you see the finish line, you're like, fuck it. <laughs> you throw your life away. <laughs> oh, my God. What a dope. What a maroon. Dude, that sucks. I mean, well, I mean, sure you're right, but fucking hey, dude. 62, man. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. It's 62 and he's thinking, you know what? If this young girl who's in her 20s wakes up and sees me, she's going to be like, oh, yeah, you're awesome. Please keep doing that. So hot. Of course she's not going to keep say that. She's going to freak out and scream. And yeah, you're 62, bro. You know, Dude. take a chill pill, man. Sit down. Have a drink. Oh Leave them God. children alone. And a girl in her 20s is just barely out of high school, bro. Yep. Yep. Well, this guy fucked up his life. And just another reason why you should hate the bus. Actually, you know what? I... I don't like taking the bus. I don't like buses, but there is kind of a nice charm to these overnight buses, you know? I mean, if you're traveling on the cheap and you want to go from like, let's say like Tokyo to Osaka and you don't want to spend like fucking, was it $200 in the my yen to travel there? If round trip is even more. Uh, you could take one of these overnight buses and it's like a quarter of the, uh, wait, I think it's like what, like 6,000 yen or something. It's really, oh really affordable. You go there, you take the bus, and then you sleep, and then you, when you wake up, you're in the other city. You're in Osaka, or, or you're in Tokyo or something. So, But if you're a girl, I guess you know you really shouldn't do that unless you're sitting next to another girl or something. So, One caveat there, you got to be under under six foot four, because I, I took a bus one time from Tokyo to Osaka, man, and it was definitely made for people around five foot tall. That was a miserable ride for me, bro. And on the way back, I'm like, fuck it, I'll pay the 200 bucks for the Shinkansen. Dude, it's perfect for me, dude. <laughs> I'd sleep like a baby on that bus. Lucky you, man. 